what's going on move the mouse back in city skylines but this time it's remastered this is the town of meander episode three i actually didn't do that much offline very 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 minimal uh, because i i wanted to include this next step most of all i'm sure if you've been here before you know this one by now but in case you don't in case this is a new build you just started with remastered um we don't have a ton of money right now and I'd like to kind of fund that next wave of expansion. We've got a ton of demand, but not a lot of money in the bank to do it. So we can come into economy. We go over to our taxes and we're going to crank these all the way up temporarily. Just for a minute, we are going to lose some population here. So we're, if you look at the population, 39, 65 plus 33 in the green, it means people are still moving in. Usually you want to do this when there's a lot more growth. It makes it a little easier. Uh, but I'm going to do this until we start losing people. They're going to complain about taxes in a minute. But in the meantime, we're making a bunch of money. Now, early on, you only have a few people, smaller tax revenue. So even increasing that twofold, it isn't giving you that much. You know, it's not, it's not breaking the game bad. Like it's not funding monuments or anything like that. But it can get you a little bit of money in the bank to get you that next milestone. Uh, we're, people are still moving in technically. Or, or being born, I guess. They're born into this this horrible tax situation. Uh, there we go. Hey, rolling in dough. Earn 15000 per week. We did it with only 3,000 people. <laughs> 4,000 people. Um, achievements galore. So until they start moving out, which when we see a lot more of the red, like when everybody goes red, basically. Okay, there they go. They're moving out. So we'll go back into economy and back down to 12%. I, you can get away with 13, I guess. I don't know. They start to complain there and it's just like, there's no point pretty much from say 14 all the way up. If you're going to go 14, you may as well go all the way up because you just make a lot more money and they'll be just as unhappy. Um, I think there's like a little bit more leeway if like they're perfectly covered with services, but that in itself is expensive. So uh, we got a little bit of money. Let's take stock of where we're at. Uh, for those that are really new, just in case, holding Y or Triangle on PlayStation, that's the, the two remastered platforms. So we don't need to worry about Nintendo Switch buttons. But if it was on the Switch as well, it would be whatever the Switch button's called because I don't, because they mix up A and B and X and Y and I'm not, my brain can't do it. And I don't want to, and it's just, I mean, it's an inside joke, really, because I, I, I used to say the switch button, but I don't have to now because this isn't on switch. Sorry, rip switch players. Um, but anyways, hold, hold Y or triangle, get into this uh, menu and you can come down to info views. You also can uh, quick D pad down is the hot is like, you know, hold, hold Y or triangle D pad down to get into here. Like, where's our electricity? It's, it's pretty good now with the most recent plant I've dropped in. So. Uh, oh, I was over budget too. So let's go to, but let's see if we can get away with 90. Probably not. <laughs> right on the edge there. We're going to have to, we're going to have to play around with that, but it, it keeps our money a little bit tight. Um, if we go over to water, we're right on the edge there. So we'll watch what we're doing here. We'll expand slowly, but surely. We, okay. Th thanks for my weekly reminder to play a game pass game. Um, or day, I, what it was like a daily or, or points. I don't even know. Do we, do we, I think we parallel this. We'll do like a pedestrian street through there so that only emergency vehicles can use that as a turnaround. Uh, we'll come back quite a ways. And in this case, we're going to build right up to there anyways. So uh, these will kind of be some straight shot neighborhoods and that is okay. Uh, I forgot I have day night cycle on now, so let's make it morning and then we can fly around at nighttime just so everybody can see everything. Okay, here. Now, I don't want this to be too much of a box here, so let's have this curve into a slightly shorter street and then we'll do like a, I can't really do a, a cul-de-sac easy on, on consoles, so. Let's do that for for kind of closing off that and then uh, straight tool and we'll come down a little bit before we So 
So halfway. Basically, I'm I'm coming out to where the uh, the round tip is just over the line. That's ten units. Click it there, and then the the other line down here that appears at five. So we know we kind of like meet right in the middle there with that curve. Now we could. I think what we'll do is we'll have like a little private private drive with like a couple houses that comes up this way. You know, there'll be or maybe there'll just be one house or Lord Chirpwicks or something. But we'll do something there. We will do something uh something fun up here. And maybe even this road is the main and this hooks into it. Let me show you what I mean. Because if this is if this is just a side street with some private houses, then then that's fine. If this is, you know, where Lord Chirpwicks is and, and the rest of this was built around it, then then this would technically be the road going off that way. And this might hook back into that, you know, at that kind of an angle. Which if that's a big, important road going all the way there, then this one should also, I think, Maybe come all the way straight through. And then off of here at a 90. Yeah. Right? And that should... Let's see if that if that lines up right. It may, it may not. Um, yeah, no, it doesn't. So where, where did I go wrong here? Is this road crooked? Okay, that's 90 off of there. I think I may have gone maybe off the other road, which is slightly off kilter. And then this should connect through now. Yeah, okay. So that is that is appropriate zoning. So something like that, we've still got a decent amount of money to do pipes, but let's start moving some people in. Maybe we'll do a little bit of a buffer on this one. Do we do that center as a park? You know what? No, I think I think we're okay to, to 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 move in that tight. We're keeping things low density. You know, we're not stepping right on top of each other when we don't have to. But I think on this middle strip, it would be a little bit more built out like that. Um, but let's maybe do a park right there. Maybe we even you know free up a little space for an education block. Did I? <clears throat> I'm going to crank this up to 100, but I'm also going to uh, make it daytime and, and leave that on because that actually uh, eases your power. Less people use power during the day. Uh, can we change the, the temperature? Because I, I think it's nice out, but I'm not sure. Sorry, Canadians. Uh, well, actually, sorry to everybody else other than America. Um, Fahrenheit rules. Okay. Um, <clears throat> need those water pipes that I was talking about a minute ago, and I and I realized I, I spent a lot of money on gravel roads before worrying about um, our electricity capacity. So we may we may have to we may have to steal. Uh, we may have to borrow some more money from the taxpayers. Just kind of running along with these roads when we can. We don't. We don't want it to look terrible. We just don't care if it looks good. I, and I, the royal we, you may care, and I'm sorry if you do. Uh, let's see. Minimal. Minimal loss of zoning. That should connect that. Uh, how good are we on water? Let's let's fill in this piece just so that as we go we can. Not worry about it. Little connection there for redundancy. For no good reason. And then let's get this last part over here before I forget. And then we'll really be able to move everybody in, which is nice. Come on this way first. Uh, 
Uh, good enough. Good enough. So now we've got a lot of industry demand, which we should we should plan on moving over there. So this road is going to be a constant. So let's uh, let's help this along a little bit. They should be able to move a little faster on actual roads. So just to frame this out, frame this idea out, like this is going to be the edge of our industry zone, which is going to get totally rezoned and moved around warehouse and, and industries actually incorporated. But imagine the town from here now. We obviously know where our main residential pocket is going to be, center of town kind of here. We'll have, you know, this avenue as well heading off that way. This this is going to get rebuilt a little bit here. But this is the you know very center of the town effectively. Everything kind of spiders off from there. Highway access for the industry can come in that way. I guess we could split off here too. But we'll probably make this like residential traffic only. So that like you can get to and from work, but the trucks have to go straight out to the highway over there. If that makes sense. And if not, it will later on. But this road right here is basically going to be our delineation point. Where the... Uh, I was going to say where this aggression will not stand. Uh, basically where the pollution will be kind of kept on that side towards the train tracks. Uh, maybe we do I don't know, some kind of commercial or office park here. Maybe uh, even some sp like a sports stadium in here. I mean, I mean at least maybe the, 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 the high school at a, at, a, at a little baseball park. The, the I think it's kind of funny, like what they call the college park. Uh, we can't look at that, can we yet? No. So uh, the, basically the baseball stadium that comes with varsity sports, the campus DLC like that. That's a, a decent sized town's high school field. I don't, I don't know if they totally understand the importance of. Uh, of baseball over there in, in Sweden, and it's a remarkable impact on society and beer bellies. And please don't be offended if you have a beer belly and you like to watch baseball, because I that was I. I I felt that comment. So, um, one of us. Now, down here, if this is going to be more... Okay, we'll be right back to that. We'll be right back to that. If this is going to be more of a, of a kind of main road, maybe that runs through here. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Um, no, maybe it is. I think it makes sense to have some some main avenues and arteries and throughways. So maybe that doesn't dead end at, at a private residence. Maybe it's something else. But let's upgrade. We'll upgrade our main roads for now, just so that even even if we could put them back to gravel, to help kind of understand where certain ideas are happening right now. And this is this is for you. This is not for me because I, I can't really point at the screen easy on console. You know, you can wave the mouse around on the PC edition. Uh, but let's let's say that's kind of a, a a through avenue, right? Then maybe we don't want to zone residential like right on the edge of it, and and maybe we keep it you know, to these interior neighborhoods and we have little spots where we can put some trees and some barriers and just some other objects that we can work in. We've got to do a couple parks though, for sure. hundred uh, percent. We've made these highways. I think I, I might have flopped these directions around a little bit. You know, in fact, maybe we don't. Maybe we don't need this here. They'll they'll figure it out, so they'll go that way. Um, and I want to reverse this around. So, hang on a second. I see the water problem. Uh, real quick, highways upgrade. Nope, change direction. So, just like we did before, it kind of gives you an opportunity to turn around before you leave the city, and then we'll upgrade this, and that is the direction that we want. Kind of force the traffic around certain ways to, to ease congestion. Uh, okay, so we need... Let's do... Can we do two water towers? Oh, those houses are going to not like the noise, I realize. We're going to want to move this water out of here. So, unfortunately, there's going to be a lot of overlapping sound there. Uh, we should be able to get away. Let's see what we need for, for treatment here. 
let's see what let's see what that gets us for uh sewage capacity and then and then we'll see i like and, I, and again i like that they're in line because that allows us to bring the budget down evenly oh we were we were at reduced budget dang okay 70 percent that's unfortunate expenditure um okay well hopefully i will remember next time and, and we're prepared what are we at on electricity 101 great so we're gonna need that soon uh okay we've got well, at least we've got money for that do we do it while we have money for that because it looks like we're gonna need it anyways I think it's five or six coal plants gets you to generally what you need to get to um, solar updraft if you have green cities, which is a, a, my my favorite stepping stone to nuclear power. I have, there's three power plants basically: coal. I guess I mean I guess wind. Wind's kind of nice, but coal. Uh, any advanced wind turbine in the water has uh, some use cases. But anyways, coal to updraft to to nuclear. That's what we're doing. That's what I'm doing. Uh, okay. Hey, we hit a milestone a while back. Remember when I said we we're going to go check on that? We've unlocked a trolley buses. Eh. Tourism, maybe later. What else do we have? Decorative roads. Excellent. Does that include decorative plaza roads at this point? Was that part of the... Was that, was that the 2022 update? Um... Larger electricity, hospital, fire, police. A lot of options here. A lot of things we can drop in. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Okay. So let's take a quick tour through our, our services. We know we can... Our way, we're way over on electricity, huh? That's right, because I, I just dropped that in and didn't take this down. So let's take this down to 85. Let's see what that does. Okay, good. We'll raise, hopefully we'll raise budget on those and, and not forget and drop new stuff in. This is a problem. This is not great. So, considering how my maps like to burn, we can't afford the big one, but we can uh, put one of these down here. And if we put it in the middle of this block for now, we will, we will have to move this, but it can turn either way as a result. So, I mean, like, some of those roads are not in the green. They're not ideal coverage. These ones in the back neighborhood are definitely at risk, unfortunately. But that is... That's the brakes. Um, we could probably... Like, this one should be able to service over here easy enough. It does have to go all the way around, though. We have to make that a pedestrian street and make this the turnaround. I've, I've, just, I've just decided... That that's what I need. That, that's what I forgot. I was waiting to spend money on, uh, because it was ages ago. Uh, and industry. Oh my God. There's there's too much to do. Hold on. Hold on. Let's move people in. Because they want to move in, and we already covered this with water. I think. We'll need a power line, but no, we didn't do this with water, did we? Not entirely. Not too bad though. Waste of money, but we're filling it in now. I don't know why the redundancy, but... But there. Okay, so we've got a, a, a decent amount of people moving in here. We'll really jam this uh, this circle up. We could move some more people in here, like we did on that other block. I think that we should, just because it's already it's already zoned up for or, or built out for electricity and, and water over here.
I only want to take out one house if we have to. And then we can get a few more in there. Uh, we'll do there. Whoop. And we'll do all this. We could have some very small houses there, I think. Um, which would be ridiculous. Okay, that's okay. That That's expected. That's not running out of power. That's just not... There's nothing an extension cord can't fix, basically. There we go. Okay, so... Uh, crazy industry demand. We're going to do that next, though. Um, we're going to do two things. I've painted this pedestrian area, but I haven't actually provided any kind of service to it yet. So it has to go... It has to go on a road. Which that technically is. It's okay. We're going to do a small service point. And then we're going to make this turnaround a pedestrian road now. So for right now, just for it to stand out, I'm going to use basic, uh, what, sandstone? Is that what this is? Okay. Actually, it doesn't really stand out against the gravel that much, I guess. Uh, but that allows these uh, police police and fire cars to use that and turn either direction that they want. Uh, but since we removed that other turnaround for this part of the city, we're going to connect here now with a single highway piece. And it does that weird angle, unfortunately. So we're going to curve that last little bit at the end so that we can have a straighter shot of road just kind of lining up. It kind of makes sense because you, you'd only be turning that way anyways. So it, it's just helping direct the traffic the way it's supposed to go. So important step number one, because now, again, we can we can start to leverage little tricks like this. But the other thing that we want to do, and we've got to be careful where we do this, um, is we want to break out the park area for now. And we're going to steal parts of this. Uh, it's not entirely important, like... As long as anywhere we have pedestrian areas is covered by that. Come to think of it, though, pedestrian areas are expensive based on the size. So for right now, we'll make this first part of town our, our pedestrian area. And we can later on add in others. And then we'll make sure this is included. Inclusion is good, especially when we're talking about the building that, that maintains the rest of the property. Um, okay, now we can come in here and, and get rid of this because the park area we actually want to take advantage of here primarily to get people paying for walking across it. So what we can do here, this is kind of an interesting little trick. You can, you can disconnect parts of zones Oh, not like that, though. That was too much. Um, I should use the smaller tool here. So we can bring this park area up through here now. Oh, I did it again. I'm, I'm, I'm trying entirely too small of a zone. So um, let's say we want... Where's our street? Is way down here. And they don't have a way to cross. So we'll, we'll bring our park all the way down here. And we don't want to... We don't want to cut out the... Ugh, we don't want to do that. It's being a jerk, so we have to kind of come this way with the park, unfortunately, to do this cutoff. We'll do it in the center, I guess, of the block, and then, and then all this can get reconnected. This is not a great example of how to do this. But it will work. That's the important part. So we don't need all this park down here. Right, but, but basically, we're, we're defining a park as the center, and I'll, I'll play around with this. Um, but this is the concept, right? Th this, th for me, it's, it's more important to cover the concepts here than cover the actual build officially. Like, I'll go in and clean some of this stuff up. I, I really will this time. Main gate, side gate. Um, we can path it. Space area occupied, come on. You can do a path from, from there to there, certainly. Are you serious? That's too short of a path? 
So I thought, you should be able to do that. There's one little click there. Not there, but but there, but there, there. Okay. So now if you want to cross, I mean, you could walk down to here. That's the thing. But we need to do like some sidewalks and paths through here to encourage people to come through. Uh, what if we turn off? What if we turn off all snapping? Can we get right in there with a gravel path? We sure can. And then we want to connect right through there. So we'll, we'll stay right through this zone right here. There we go. And then we want to make this um, a crosswalk here. So on roads, let's see what we got for options. We're going to have to change up the, uh, the lane configuration, I believe. They should do decorative versions of these roads. So we will do a two lane with wide sidewalks here. Uh, one way, of course, two lane, one way. So we'll do that here. Let's put a uh, straight tool on. Let's put our angles and snapping back for this piece. And again, the two lane with wide sidewalks that removes the parking lane, which we're good with here. Um, and for this one, we'll, I guess we'll, we'll try and keep it symmetrical. So like that on either side, and then the three lane can reconnect. That's a little bit, it's a little bit more spaced out than I want. Hold on a second. We can do this better. That's one click in, I think, from where we were at. Let's see. Because that creates crosswalks. In case you didn't figure out what I was doing there. Yeah, so there's a crosswalk almost immediately there. There's no uh, parking along any of this strip. And this is also going to slow cars down and then make them recalculate what lane to be in up there. Uh, but it should, again, slow them down at the crosswalk naturally. Do the same thing on the other side real quick. And hopefully it will just let me line up with those nodes that are already over there because we're close enough, hopefully. Sure enough. So that one was a quick fix now that we've got it all spaced out. Now, if we wanted to uh, decorate and spruce things up a bit we could connect most likely here right fence off the the property so that nobody can get in can we do it from from this gate where you anchor from matters sometimes oh it doesn't want you coming in there though so let's do this let's fence in the police property that way that works too i guess Be nice if we can get that that one in there. I don't know why that why that's different, but but okay. Uh, and then we can wrap this fence all the way around just just for the look. And if we play around with the placement of the um, the pedestrian zones, we we can do that a little bit better where we don't have to have this only middle of the block crossing point. But for now, uh, for now it works. That's that's kind of what we'll be going for. Um, I'm going to teach you the principles. I'm going to go back and clean it up. And uh, yeah, just, just a different kind of build. You've seen this stuff before if you've been here, though. So again, we're borrowing little things and tricks and tips that we've learned along the way. And we're going to incorporate, uh, you know, bits and pieces into this town. This is meander. It's, it, this is really dim. It's kind of weird. Oh, those are bicycles. They don't have full power headlights. Um, it's different, it's certainly different from what we've done in the past, but I think it's going to be a very aesthetically pleasing city. At least that's what I'll be going for. Um, which if that is the purpose from the start, that's a different thing around here. I hope you're enjoying. If you did hit the like button helps the channel and it is greatly appreciated. If you're new here, subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. But until then, when we'll pick up the pieces where we left off, continue to expand so many ideas, so many projects. The only way to find out what's next is to tune in. I'll see you then, whenever then is. And until 
then. That's a lot of them. Uh, this is Move the Mouse signing off. <laughs>